the frontiers of medicine, medicine on the cutting edge, but for your best friend, and Juju Chang is here to tell us about it. Well, Diane, you've heard of hydrotherapy, right? Range of motion exercises, ultrasound therapy. Well, all these treatments were developed for humans, but now they have a whole new species of patients of the four-legged variety. This is Finnegan. Two years ago, he was found abandoned in a parking lot after being hit by a car. Uh, when I adopted him, he wasn't using his legs. Emmy was paralyzed after a surgery to fix a congenital defect. Oh, good girl. You know, so she would sort of move her feet, but she couldn't hold herself up. After six months of therapy, Emmy went from this <laughs> to this. It's a distinctive walk, but a walk nonetheless. There was a time when there was no hope for pets like these. Some would be permanently paralyzed. Others would spend their life in pain, or worse, euthanized. But Emmy and Finnegan have both made a remarkable recovery, thanks to a new field in the world of veterinary medicine. We've all heard of rehabilitation therapy for humans, but for pets? These animals get the same treatments that people use preoperatively, postoperatively, uh, when they have arthritis and other debilitating conditions. The Animal Medical Center's Rehabilitation Service in New York City is a leader in a growing field devoted to getting pets back on their feet after surgery, illness, or injury. It's an innovative twist in animal care that takes a page from human physical therapy. Good girl. Yes, you are. The treadmill is extra long to fit the stride of a big dog. There's deep tissue ultrasound, Cavaletti rails to encourage balance, even an underwater treadmill. Come on, Buster. Buster couldn't move his legs after he slipped a disc. Oh the underwater treadmill has allowed him to strengthen his muscles without putting pressure on his back. See, it's easier for him to be in the water treadmill being buoyant, having some of his extra weight lifted off of him. Jojo, a four-year-old Maltese, had a stroke. Like human stroke patients, she receives therapy to help her relearn coordination and movement. Today, she rolled over, a big accomplishment. And are you optimistic that she'll get over it? I think she's gonna do very well. Oh, good. <laughs> Finnegan balances on a ball to get his back leg working. Good boy. The Animal Medical Center doesn't discriminate. Exotic pets are welcome, too. Larry the ferret had an accident. He lost an eye and broke his arm badly. He had a hard time getting around. He wasn't, you know, he definitely seemed depressed. But Larry took swimmingly to the hydrotherapy pool, which has helped strengthen his limb. Now he can keep up. In fact, he's a little faster than one of, than one of his brothers. <laughs> <laughs> With time, all the center's four-legged clients show signs of physical improvement. But what about the skeptics who say pouring time and money into a pet is a waste of energy? I consider my dog part of my family, and I wouldn't ever neglect him. You would do it for your sister, your aunt, your uncle, your mother. Finally, how do owners know the therapy is making a difference? Just ask Emmy's owner, David Kent. Oh, it's a miracle. I mean, there's no, we never expected her to be this good. And one of the, one of the best things that, that ever happened is before the surgery and before the rehab, she couldn't wag her tail. You know, she is a happy, happy dog. <laughs> Actually, the proof is in the faces of the pet owners. This is Finnegan, and he's now four years old. Uh -huh. He's a veteran of four different surgeries after being hit by a car. Two hip surgeries, two knee surgeries, and his mom actually works at the hospital, so he often goes into work with her and acts as sort of the model dog and shows pet owners how to do exercises. It's such things. a great idea. They learn to wag their tail again <laughs> in every sense of the word. I didn't know dogs had strokes. Am I the only one who didn't know that? Everybody knew that but me. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know until I went there. But, you know, there a lot of these therapies are for post-surgical, post-trauma, mm -hmm. but they also have this growing element of weight loss therapy as well. So they put the dogs on these treadmills and get them exercising again. And, and when you think about it, I mean, the underwater treadmill can be such a gift to dogs after surgery, too. Absolutely. Obviously, they do it for horses. I'd never even heard about it for dogs. Okay, thanks, Juju. My pleasure.